Yo, Devin with Ready Responder Fitness here, working a little self-maintenance today in the room. Uh, my left knee has been a bit grumpy for the last few days, so I'm gonna do some mobilizations that you can do at home or at the gym. Uh, I'm gonna use a foam roller, a band, and voodoo floss bands. Now, first off, I am not a licensed physician. I am not a physical therapist. So if you have any chronic or ongoing pain, definitely go seek professional help. If uh, this is just for general gym soreness, then hop on in and try these at home. Now one of the first movements is terminal knee extensions. I have my knee attached to a light band that's then attached to a door handle in the room. And you're just gonna gently unlock the knee, allowing the band to pull it away, and then extend the knee, almost squeezing that quad to finish that extension, that terminal knee extension. And you're gonna do this gently. Allow it to slowly go forward, contract, extend, slowly go forward, contract, extend, working on just improving that range of motion, getting some stretch in those uh, muscles, lig ligaments, and going through the full range of motion. I'm gonna do it for a set of 20, take a break, do it on the other leg, just because I'm already set up, and two or three sets. Switching gears to the foam roller, I'm gonna smash my shins, so the distance from the knee down to the ankle. And I'm not gonna do this too hard. I'm actually gonna use this foot in order to bridge it up and take some of my body weight, keep both hands posted on the ground. I'm just gonna gently go side to side, shearing any of those muscles and ligaments, that fascia inside the shin, and then gently up and down, small little rocks, controlled. Start all the way at the top of that knee. Spend a good two to three minutes, slowly making my way from the knee down towards the ankle, hitting that shin. Now again, I'm focusing on knee pain, but the way to do that is to go upstream into the hamstrings and quads and downstream into the calves, shins, ankles. So that way I could free up any bit of muscles and ligaments that might be tight and affecting my knee in the center of those groups. All right, we're gonna stick with the foam roller, but we're moving on to the quads, going upstream from the knee. So I'm, I'm gonna lay down on the foam roller and just gently allow my body weight to go in it, rocking back and forth, north and south. You could also go left and right, get some smear and shear on that fascia, or you could go rotating around the quad. Whatever feels good and useful to you, just don't look for pain, just looking for the gentle massage feeling. Again, we're gonna spend two to three minutes on this quad going anywhere from knee to hip. And if you feel a nice spot, you can hold down there, breathe, contract, and relax. Or you could even take that foot and give it a different level of input by moving the muscle around the roller rather than the roller around the muscle. Whatever feels right and good to you, going north and south, side to side, try to target that fascia, rolling internal, external, internal, external, or even contract, hold, don't forget to breathe, relax and let it sink down, and also moving the foot, different angles, anything that's good, sliding that muscle over the roller, relaxing it, resetting that, that quad smash. Two to three minutes, and then the next movement. Last but not least, I'm gonna wrap the knee with the voodoo floss. I'm going below the knee. I'm gonna try to get the band going just under that patella, right where that knee is. I'm gonna do four to six inches. The general rule of thumb is 50% tension, 50% overlap for these bands. So you're just going over itself, creating a little bit of tension and compression, not so much that it restricts blood flow and hurts, just enough to distract that area. 50% tension, 50% overlap. Tuck it in on itself, and then essentially just move around. There's been three to five minutes. Um, if you start feeling any blood flow impingement, tightness, if it goes numb, take it off. But you can go squats, you can do some gentle lunges, side lunge, and up. 
whatever feels right. You could hold the bottom of the squat position, do some calf raises. We're just moving that leg through different ranges of motion. Bottom of the squat, you could press the leg out, whatever it may be. Two to three minutes there, and then you remove the band, let the blood reflow to those surfaces, hopefully free up a little bit of range of motion, change that connection between those muscles there.